Hey guys, how about we watch a death battle, Pikachu versus Blanca. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not sure what game he's from, so yeah, that's me there. Um, obviously I don't have a connection with him, but what connection do I have to this video, if any? Pokemon. For instance, I bought a 3DS just so I could play Pokemon X. And if it helps, this was my Halloween costume. I also have an adorable Totodile. Now, little Pikachu wanted to watch this one with us. But considering the nature of death battles, I don't think that's a good idea, just in case, so I'm sorry buddy, it's for your own good. But now, with all of that said, let's get to watching a death battle. Here we go. When you think of an electric charge combatant, these two always come to mind. Pikachu, oh, Pikachu look vicious there. First Pokemon. And Blanca, the man beast of Brazil. I'm Wizard and he's Boomstick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death. I was battle. wondering if they were gonna use Ash's Pikachu in particular. It looks like they are. Standing barely over one foot tall and weighing less than a newborn baby, Pikachu is the quick-footed electric mouse Pokemon, and the first under the command of Ash, a ten-year-old trainer from Pallet Town. We like Pikachu. Because you don't He's need puberty cool. to travel the world by yourself. Pikachu is now Ash's most loyal and trusted companion, but he sure didn't start that way. He was actually kind of a dick. Yeah. <laughs> and again, if a ten-year-old was trying to yes, trap me in a tiny ball and make me fight other creatures to the death, that'd probably fuck him up too. Being so small, Pikachu has low stamina and physical strength, but more than makes up for it with speed. However, his EV training was arbitrary and inconsistent. EV what now? Effort value uh, training. I Every can't time do a Pokemon EV wins training. a battle, one of its abilities I've tried it, did not work. the opponent. Taking the first seasons of the show into account, we have compiled an estimation of Pikachu's statistics upon reaching his maximum level. That is level. cool. By defeating so many Spearow early on, Pikachu's speed is off the charts. The little lightning rat isn't just quick. He's got two incredibly powerful weapons built into his face. I Those never thought of it that way cheeks. with the Their electricity IV sacks, which he uses for attacks which like his trademark that? Thunderbolt. And when that won't I do the trick, he can use the extra fast quick attack to surprise his foes, or Iron Tail, which turns his tail hard as steel. Electro Ball is a projectile that for some reason deals more damage the slower an opponent is. But when things get serious, he'll bust out his So are they just going to stick to those four? Tackle. Quick attack, Iron Tail, Electro Ball. The Bolt Tackle strikes with the that force of a cool. mouse-powered Megaton Warhead, but there's a catch. Pikachu receives recoil damage equaling 33% oh. of the total damage oh. dealt. This Ow. move cannot 30. be used lightly. Well, that's dumb. It's like, hey, I can kill you, but I'm gonna blow up my arm. That's kind of weird. Regardless, <laughs> Ash's Pikachu is astounding. He's like a living battery, weaponized. Not only can he discharge an enormous amount of power, he can also absorb electricity and use it against his foes. In fact, cool. he can conduct more wattage than any ordinary Pikachu, making him one of the toughest of his kind. Yeah, but he's got his limits. Get too much electricity stored up and boom! No more Pikachu. Did they say all that in the anime? Pikachu is still a tiny mouse Pokemon with very clear limits. And even though he has long since reached his maximum potential, he refuses to evolve into the vastly superior Raichu due to some pretentious excuse of love and acceptance. What a waste of potential. Can you imagine how powerful he could be as a Raichu? But Pikachu's accomplished quite a lot of impressive feats on his sense. own. He's beaten legendary Pokemon and developed new fighting techniques like the counter shield and mid-air spin dodge. He may be the size of a squirrel, but he's one tough fighter. I have to hold things back so I don't keep interrupting. I'll try to go over stuff during their, like, commercial break. As a child, Jimmy Blanco was a pale-skinned Brazilian boy. Is Blanca, that is, yeah. until the horrific plane crash, like lost. of which he was the sole survivor stranded in the Amazon. Trapped in an area filled with dangerous predators, he was forced to camouflage himself day and night. After many years of this, his skin absorbed enough chlorophyll to turn a permanent green hue. Oh. Really? I always thought he was just some kind of jungle yeah, monster. Yeah, so he's guy. not a monster. Despite his appearance, Blanca is actually extremely passive and gentle. However, piss him off, and he enters an unstoppable bloodlust. Well, that seems like a pretty drastic change. But before he Is was old enough to fight the predators fighter? himself, he was forced to live off electric eels as his primary Amazing. food source. After years of this diet, he developed a high resistance to electricity and somehow gained the ability to produce similar electric shocks. I'm not right sure back. that's how it works. No, boom ticket doesn't work like that. Plus, we kind okay, of have a show yeah. to do. Fine, but afterwards, I'm proving you wrong. <laughs> okay. Blanca eventually found his way to civilization by complete accident He's and found fine. a friend in Dan Hibiki. 
the absolute worst Street Fighter on Earth. Street Fighter uh, Dan. Dan. Couldn't get any real people friends, so you had to resort to Jungle Frankenstein over here. After arriving in the city, Blanca entered the second World Warrior Tournament and discovered he face. was one of the most agile competitors there, leaping and ducking around his opponents with ease like a jungle monkey, which is basically what he is. He uses a self-taught martial art, which he learned while fighting freaking crocodiles and jaguars, that's what. He has several unique attacks, like the beast roll, with which he hurtles through the air like a bullet, obliterating all laws of physics. I don't know which jaguar or crocodile taught him that move, but shit, I want it. That aside, he's also got a few super moves. The Grand Shave Roll is a chargeable spin attack, and with Shout of Earth, Blanca can fire off a wave of uncontrollable electric energy. But you really gotta watch out for the Lightning Cannonball, where he rockets forward as a spinning ball of electric death. Oh. That would hurt. Blanca is a deadly fighter and obviously an extremely tough survivor. However, his greatest weakness comes from his lack of formal training. In fact, the only training he's ever had was under the tutelage of Yes. Dan Don't Hibiki? say it. Dan Hibiki. Yeah, That's okay. like anti-training. And yet he has proven his combat skills time and time again. Though he did not win the World Warrior Tournament, he was picked from hundreds to represent Brazil, and through it rediscovered his mother and hometown. Aww. At long last, Blanca had come home. Most terrifying oh, family huge. reunion ever. <laughs> <laughs> he's a happy guy. All right, the combatants are set. Let's send Okay, baiting to commercial so I can talk. I forgot about that a lot that I wanted to say, but um... I'm still rooting for Pikachu, but I'm not sure because, okay, Pikachu is a battle monster. Pokemon, they're kind of meant to be fighters. They're meant for it. Like, that's, that's what Pokemon is all about, so he has that up for him. But Street Fighter is also a game all about fighting. He's also meant for fighting, Blanca. And considering he was one out of a hundred chosen, you know, from Brazil, um, that must mean he's pretty strong. They're both electric. Pikachu has, like, that kind of resistance to electricity because, you know, he's an electric type, but I don't think he's immune. I don't think he has lightning rod or anything as his, like, special ability. Um, I don't know how resistant Blanca is. That was a short commercial. We have to get back. I'm sorry. Fingers crossed for Pikachu. Fight. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Just like boot strength. Blanca's definitely got the upper hand. Mm. Oh, it looks like a powerful like, quick attack. Is that what it looks like? Got this, Pikachu! It's breaking physics. Oh, that was cool! That was cool! <laughs> you got this! Kill him! Is he doing his electric? Come on! Oh, ah. Oh, <laughs> he just ate Pikachu! <laughs> you know, I've always wanted to eat a Pokemon. What? They look delicious! Pikachu may be powerful, but he can't compete with Blanca's ruthless skill. Yeah. Even though Pikachu was clearly quicker on his feet, his attacks had little effect. Blanca could resist the electric attacks, and the Iron Tail yeah. is a steel-type move, which, as we all know, is weak against electricity. Pikachu's only option was to outmatch Blanca's physical strength and stamina, Couldn't which was just too much for the little guy. And despite keeping a clear head, Pikachu rarely shows any exemplary competence or aptitude on his own. Many of his greatest achievements are actually a result of his trainers quick thinking or downright luck. It's true. Everything was going well until yeah. Pikachu lost his head. The winner is Blanca. Well, congratulations to Blanca all the Next same, whoever you are. You know, you street fighter, green, pale skin, you green paled one. Kame Goku! Kame and Superman! Goku versus Superman, eh? Fight of the century. Oh my god! <laughs> Somebody get me a motherfucking table to flip! Okay, these guys are fun. They're fun. But yeah, fade that out. So, even though I was rooting for Pikachu, I guess it makes sense that he lost. 
Because, um, he, he had, like, all electric attacks, or like they said, Iron Tail, which was weak against electricity, which I didn't even think about at the time. Um, except for Quick Attack, that was his only, like, physical attack. And it's just not a powerful move. And Pikachu is, he relies more on speed than his actual, like, physical strength. So using Quick Attack, at least following the game's logic, where it's a priority move, it doesn't really do any good for him. It's like, you know, priority move, but, uh, priority move, but 40 damage, I think it is, or power, whatever. Um, and now that I think about it, they did say that since Blanca ate those electric eels, he had a high resistance to electricity. And then after gaining that resistance, he was able to, like, kind of produce the electricity himself or discharge it. So it makes sense that, it makes sense that Pikachu lost. Even if Blanca was hardly trained, or if he were trained by her, um, the worst fighter or whatever, it makes sense just because Blanca is a fighter, he has physical strength and, um, and stamina, so he could kick butt, you know, it's a little mouse Pokemon, and even though I think he's adorable, I mean, look at little Pikachu. Don't worry, he didn't see a thing, didn't, did you? No, that's right, I didn't think so. Um, it just, it makes sense, so... I'm okay with that. Uh, <laughs> still love Pikachu. Blanca seems like an interesting character. And that overall was an interesting death battle. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, of course, feel free to leave a like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot. It really helps me out. It really does. And I'd love to have you guys. So, tune in next time for my next video. And until then, take care.